what's up diecast fans I've got a mini GT review here uh, this is mini GT the and Kaido house together uh, bringing you Junamai's uh, 510 Dotson wagon so if you're not familiar with uh, June he was a Hot Wheels designer uh, for quite a few years uh, he actually designed this wagon, uh, which is based off of his personal ride. Uh, he designed this one for Hot Wheels uh, back a few years ago, and now it's come out with Mini GT. So he's actually moved over to Mini GT and uh, is one of their designers working with them uh, producing some of these. So we've got this one designed by Junimai. There you go. And um, it's all metal, alloy wheels, opening hood. These are really, really nice. Uh, and so this this is going to be similar to the Hot Wheels version, but there are some differences. Uh, number one, the quality of this one is way higher. Uh, this is they definitely put a lot of love and um, just a lot of time and effort into doing these right. And uh, we've got two versions here, so let me turn this on and we'll get this turned around. So that's the green version, which is actually modeled after his own ride. And then we've got a blue one there too. Uh, so these both came out at the same time, uh, Kaido House and Mini GT. Uh, I don't know if these are a Miho exclusive, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and open these up. Uh, so they come in this nice little box here. There's a look at it inside the box. So it's well protected in the package. These are licensed models. And there we go. We get that. We take it out. You can already see all of the detail on the wheels there. So we're going to take that out. And I'm going to go ahead and move this one out of the way for the moment. And there you get a nice, good look at it. Just look at the detail on that. Look at those wheels. Those are some deep wheels there. Very wide. Got those wide fenders. Uh, you see that tailpipe on the on the end. We got some Greddy graphics on here, and this one does have an opening hood, which we'll take a look at here in just a second. I just wanted you to take in all of the detail here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stop this for just a second and take a closer look here. Uh, so there it is from the top. We've got some Japanese graphics. Um, not just graphics, it's got writing on there, but I don't read Japanese, so I'm not sure what it says. Um, there's a look from the back. It's a 71 Datsun. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to point out on this one. The Hot Wheels version and the real life version of uh, this wagon has four doors. This one only has two, so this one's been chopped down just a little bit and the rear door's been taken out. Uh, you will notice there are there's a roll cage there in the back. You can see all the detail on that. Um, just look at those mirrors right there. And the wheel, let's see if I can get my focus. go all right so we get some of that detail um, the base check out that base so much detail in that too 1971 dots and 510 used under license color kind of changes there that is so cool um, all right so let's take a look under the hood so it does have an opening hood there. And you see a very detailed engine underneath that. Unfortunately, I can't get much focus right there. There we go. I have to just zoom out. Um, let's see, I believe it says Nissan on the hood but it is kind of hard to kind of hard to read from 
here. All right, so there is that one. Now let's take a look at the blue one. So this is the blue counterpart. If you're gonna get one of these, you might as well go ahead and get both. Zoom out so you can see this a little bit better as I take it out of the package. And this one's got gold wheels on the inside of those wheels, so gold detail on the wheels. Uh, blue paint, other than that, it's essentially the same one. It is a shame uh, that his talents are no longer being used at Mattel, but I guess uh, moving to Mini GT really allows him to uh, kind of step up his game on the detail. Uh, Hot Wheels just doesn't uh, doesn't go this far on the details. Even their RLC models, which are really really nice, uh, still I don't think quite measure up to the level of detail that you're going to get on the Mini GTs. So that is the Kaido House, uh, the the twin Datsun. 510 wagons there, uh, Junamize Datsun 510, modified version of it, and then uh, then we've got the blue one as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know. Let me know what you think about these two. Uh, if you want to see more Mini GT stuff, just let me know and I will keep it coming. Thanks for watching.